this 50 glamorous look for you and I created this cut crease with a classic red and a really dramatic wing for you today and if you guys want to see how I achieved this look then then keep on watching today I'm gonna to be using the Kat Von D locket tattoo foundation in the color medium 53 and I'm gonna use the Morphe E31 brush Now I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the color Medium Light. And I'm using the brush EA. And now I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And now I'm using MAC Pro Long Wear Paint Pot in the color Soft Ochre. And I'm going to be applying that all over the lids. And now I'm just using this white eyeshadow by Morphe called Porcelain. And I'm gonna apply that all over the lid. And now I'm using Deep Skin by Morphe as a transition shade. And I'm applying that with the Morphe M504. And I'm gonna apply that with the brush like tilted up instead of just like so I'm gonna apply it like so and I'm taking deep cocoa by Morphe and applying that to cut my crease and I'm gonna be taking the Morphe 149 brush and I'm gonna be applying the deep cocoa right over here And now I'm taking Caramelized by Morphe and I'm going to be blending that deep cocoa color out. And now I'm going to be taking the Morphe E28 brush. And now I'm going to be taking that white shade again on this flat brush and I'm just going to be applying that under that deep cocoa just to clean it up and I'm also going to be taking that white shade and applying that on the brow bone and now I'm just going to take a black eyeshadow on an angled brush and I'm going to be applying that just by the lash and just to be a guideline for my eyeliner and now I'm taking the Maybelline Eye Studio in the color black is black gel eyeliner and I'm just gonna be drawing really dramatic wings.
I just did my eyebrows off camera and now I'm going to be taking this white pencil by Rimmel London and it's the color 071 pure white and I'm just going to be applying this pencil on the waterline. And now I'm just going to be taking Kiss Lashes in the number 11 and I'm taking these lashes because the front of it is small and then the back of it is long. But first I'm going to be taking this great lash by Maybelline in the color very black and I'm going to apply this on the top and bottom lashes. And now I'm taking the Revlon Clear Lash Glue. And now I'm just going to take the mascara one more time and go over it. And now I'm just going to wipe off all the powder. And now I'm going to take the Morphe 9C palette, which looks like this. And it's all the contour shades and I'm just going to be contouring and highlighting with this today. And I'm going to be using the Morphe M523. I'm going to be taking this shade right here and then this shade right here and I'm going to be contouring with those two shades today. And now I'm going to be taking this blush right here, Coralista by Benefit. And I'm going to take the 9C palette again and I'm going to take this middle shade right here which is a highlight. And I'm just going to put it on the tops of my cheekbones, just a little bit. And I'm also going to take it on my nose. And now I'm just going to take this MAC lipstick and it's called Ruby Lou. And I'm going to be applying that all over the lips. And it's just a really classic red and what we need for this look. And I'm going to take this Morphe E19 brush. And I'm going to be applying it with that, just for precision. And now I'm just going to take the lipstick and apply it in the center. I hope you guys like this 50s glamorous look. I really like creating this look. I just love creating this with my hair and with my makeup. Enjoy and liked it as much as I like it. And thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're not. And like my video and leave a comment down below of like anything that you would like to see next. Bye!